Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and we're back, people. Yes, we're back with some more nonsense news. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. There's some nonsense news. But we're back nonetheless. Now, I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention because it's only fair, you know? If we talked about murder baked beans getting into the little kerfuffle out there in the yams in the first place, we got to sit there and, you know, at least give you an update, you know? This is Swayze TV. This is, this is what we call good journalism. Great reporting. Okay? Now, if you look on your screen, what you'll see is, um, Miss Celtics having an interview with Adam22 on No Jumper. And, um, let's just say the internet keeps receipts because it seems like she changed her whole tune when she went up there. And, I'ma just play the video and let you guys hear it for yourselves. Let's check this out real quick. I really was a fighter. Like I'm too pretty for that. Oh, how'd your face heal up so quickly? I can still see the black eye a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, for me, I'm not Muhammad Ali, but I'm not ass though. Can't say I'm ass. I never really was a fighter. Like, I'm too pretty for that. Oh, how'd your face heal up so quickly? I can still see the... No, I'm not going to even hold you, bro. Adam is a savage for even asking her, like, how did your face heal up so quickly? And I could kind of still see the black eye. Like, that was... That was just uncalled for, honestly. That was just uncalled for. But you see her tone, you know what I'm saying? And people in a... And the comment sections was kind of like, yo, bro, like, this is kind of different from how, you know, Miss Baked Beans was talking earlier. Because if you remember, she had an interview with, what's this guy name again? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot his, I forgot his name. No disrespect. No disrespect. He be sending me videos to post too. No disrespect, but I forgot his name. But, you know, she was on there interviewing him or whatever have you. I mean, getting interviewed by him or whatever have you. And this is what she said. This is what her tone was before. Let's check it out. And they face just for talking to me crazy. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you got beef with me? Bet, say that. Bad. Niggas know, like, it used to be bugging, punching random bitches in their face just for talking to me crazy. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you got beef with me? Bet, say that. Bad. Niggas know, like, it used to be bugging, punching random bitches in their face just for talking to me crazy. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you got beef with me? Bet, say that. Bet. Riveting. Extremely tantalizing and riveting footage. Now, when we first seen this, I was like, yo, bro, you got to understand. Not everybody wins a fight. You get what I'm saying? I guess unless you're Floyd Mayweather, you know, but not everyone wins every single fight. And there's nothing wrong with losing a fight, getting up, dusting yourself off, and you know what I'm saying? Living to see the next day. All right? There's nothing wrong with that. However, I think what people's problem is, is that, see, Miss Big Beans, um, she's out here dissing people's deads. You know, smoking on people's dead, saying this, that, and the third. Doing all types of very, um, outrageous and, um, disrespectful things, to say the least. And her energy before that fight seemed like, you know, bow, you know, bow, uh, you know, right in the kisser. What you say, uh, uh, bow, you know what I'm saying? Dad used to, you know, punch, punch chicks in the face, you know what I'm saying? She said it herself. She said it herself. I, I didn't say it. She said it. They face just for talking to me crazy. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you got beef with me? Bet. Say that. Bad. Niggas know. Like, it used to be bugging, punching random bitches in their face just for talking to me crazy. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you got beef with me? Bet. Say that. Bad. And now the tone is, um, you know, I'm not Muhammad Ali. You know, I'm a pretty girl. I, I don't fight. 
you know, in this standard third. Now, my thing is this. I have no problem if that's how she feels, you know. She's a pretty girl and she doesn't fight anymore. But, you know, I just think people have a problem with the t the change of, of tone. You know what I'm saying? The change of tone. That's That's it. That's it. See, I think people would have respected it more if you, you know what I'm saying, if you stayed on the same type of timing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Shorty got the best of me. It, it happens, you know? It is what it is. It be like that, you know? At the end of the day, it's still, it's still S SMD. I don't care. It's, I'm still smoking on the ops. And if anybody wanted, they could get it. And if she, if she was still on that type of time, I, I get, I'd be like, all right, bet. All right, bet. But, you know, now, you know, she's a, you know, pretty girl and she, she doesn't fight. So my thing is this, does this mean, like, does that mean that she's no longer smoking on anybody's dad? She's no longer going to, like, diss the ops and stuff like that? Because, you know, I, I never heard Tiny B. I never in my, in my life heard Tiny B say that she too pretty for anything. Never in my life. So what does this mean for the future of murder baked beans? Will she stop the nonsense that that girl in the yams that put hands and feet on her reach murder B and actually save her life? Is this murder B changing a new leaf? Or is it turning a new leaf? Or, or whichever the saying is, you let me know. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. No.